shopping at Hobby Lobby, I'm going to check out their art section and see what they have to offer with just a $50 cap limit. So here we go. Now what I'm going to be doing is looking at the variety of materials and I'm going to try to get you guys the best brands for a good price. So you guys don't break your bank, but you're also getting good materials and supplies while you're looking with the dollars. So this brand right here, Windsor & Newton, is a really good brand. So always look for really high-end brands. That's where I would start off and is uh, looking at those prices. And if they fit your budget, go ahead and buy them because yeah, they're worth it. Over here, you see art sets. Now, I usually tend to stay away from them because they don't have high quality materials. They have, but they do have a variety, which is like brushes, paints, erasers, pens, markers. So if you don't have anything, definitely consider buying one of these and maybe investing a little bit more on brushes and paints. But usually the kits have everything you need to get started. Um, this right here, the brush washer, is $5.99. I would recommend these because I do have one of these myself. And that is basically to just wash out your brushes and to paint with them. Um, so see, $5.99 brush washers. Also, a palette. I would recommend you guys invest in one of these so you can mix your paints. Or if you... Oh, these are $3.99, so you can see these are pretty affordable. So $3.99, you can't beat that price. That's pretty good. I also have one of these bottles. This is a spray bottle. This is $2.49, and basically you just use it to wet your, wet your canvas whenever you're painting. Or you can buy one of these for $1.99. Either or, it doesn't really make a difference. You can buy them. It's going to be the same thing. <clears throat> but over here you have clear ones, you have wooden ones. I personally have a wooden one. Does it really matter? Not really. Uh, I just got one because I, I could get one, you know. They don't really make a difference. It's the same thing. It's just a tool that you use so you can mix colors, I mean mix paints with. Over here you see the brushes. Now the brushes, I think you can cut corners with because you don't really need to buy something very expensive. For me, I personally use cheap brushes. Now what I'm going to be looking for is something in a pack. Something that carries filbert brushes, fan brushes, um, uh, what's it called? I'm, I'm, really, I'm not really familiar with the brushes <laughs> just yet, but I'm just looking for a big set, you know. This right here is a big set, but it's too expensive. So we're going to look for something a little bit more simple. Something that you start off with that has a good variety, but it doesn't break the bank. So right here, these are value brushes for $9.99. You get this many brushes, and they're cheap, affordable. You get a good variety sizes. Um, so definitely consider getting these right here. I actually own these. So if you want to be specific on what I get, I got those and those are $9.99 and I also have one of these which is a filbert a large brush it is $12.99 I know it's a little bit more expensive a little bit more pricey but the reason why I would recommend they, these is to cover more areas and it's easier for me to paint with them now over here don't really mess with these I don't mess with those either uh, those and those packs I mean you can try them doesn't really matter over here these are the more expensive brushes these are higher quality brushes and you can touch them you can see that they're more expensive high quality $5.99 for this fan brush yeah it's kind of expensive but you get what you pay for but for me honestly they don't really matter you can cut corners you don't need these expensive brushes to create masterpieces as you can see my paintings I don't use expensive brushes why because they're not really necessary I would much rather spend money on paints rather than on the brushes but some people prefer spending more on brushes because they believe you know the brushes matter I have some friends who spend thirty dollars on brushes and that's just based on personal preference over here you see Liquitex Liquitex is a name I mean it's a good brand so basics over here, I believe they're $4 and something. I, I couldn't really see it. 
over here these are 399 yes 399 so um, Master's Touch these two brands something that I would get whenever I was starting off those are really good brands so now that you know the brands you want you want to look for kits and tubes small tubes so you can get all the colors because you don't want to pay that much you probably end up spending like forty dollars just to get a few colors now over here you see this whole kit and it has the master touch the one we just looked at for 36 tubes you get you get it at $27.99 that's a good deal <laughs> that's a pretty good deal so you basically get all the colors that you need and all you gotta do is whenever you run out just get the other tubes like the ones the one I have in my hand I actually just ran out of black so I'm getting more black and that's $3.99 for tubes but you'll honestly you won't run out of them anytime soon you'll be able to do at least maybe two or three paintings with those tubes that you got of that are in the uh, 2797 I believe that's what it was or 99 and you'll be able to do a good amount of paintings just with those and you have a good variety of paints to work with now I'm gonna show you guys what I have for colored pencils this right here is $249.99 now that is pretty expensive but I invested in these pencils because uh, I think this is the biggest pack that they have here at Hobby Lobby and I got it because <clears throat> honestly it's better to have a lot more pencils to work with than not enough but if you're starting off these for $26 you can get um, this this 12 count pack that's pretty good over here you'll see some drawing kits I think I got one of these before you get a uh, eraser sharpeners pencil stumps and you get a little mannequin and these pencils that's pretty good if you don't have anything that's something good to start off with the drawing kits I would recommend them but you also got to watch out for them because sometimes they have pencils that aren't really high quality and they break easily they just aren't really good to work with so you gotta watch out with what you're buying you gotta make sure and read what brand they are from so over here we have um, Kimberly's I think that's called yeah Kimberly and we also have General which those are pretty good brands I think they're pretty good brands I, see, I work with um, both of them but honestly I don't think you need that many pencils over here this is a good set it has all right pencils and it has the generals so I'm assuming that those other pencils are pretty good too um, over here we have this kit too it has a sharpener uh, some pencils just look for some good quality materials so over here we have the tortillon and blended stumps so you get six or one ninety nine right here, or you can get this pack for four ninety nine, and you get a range of sizes and tortillons included in there. So that's a pretty good deal. But if you want to cut on cost, go ahead and stick to the one ninety nine or something more affordable. You don't really need something um, that expensive, or you don't really need that much of a variety if you're just starting off. You basically just want to stack up. I mean, stock up on supplies so affordable and good quality supplies which that is so for 199 honestly I could uh, use just one and it would last me a year so back to what I was saying about the kits these are the fine touch don't go with these because those are lower quality pencils but you also got to look at what your spending budget is so if you can't really afford much always stick to kits this charcoal pad right here I don't really use it because I'm not a big fan of the texture because it's a little bit too rough whenever you're blending also I do want to mention that Hobby Lobby does have coupons online so 40% off coupons just like I was mentioning before make sure to use it on the big bigger purchases so that way you save even more money on uh, more expensive products so that's also an alternative to think about whenever you're shopping at Hobby Lobby um, like I was saying look for some kits and this is basically what I'm doing now is looking for some type of kit to recommend you guys um, but I don't think I'm seeing it 
because otherwise I would have shown you guys. Right here we see a range of colors. You, you might get confused just by looking at how many color brands there are. You're like, man, maybe I should get this one or that one. But honestly, you got to stick to what you know. The higher uh, end brands. So Prismacolor, Faber-Castle, Windsor & Newton, those are the ones you should stick with. Over here we have a blender pen for $6.99. I have one of these myself and I use them to blend um, with, with Prismacolors. These are some pencils, the colorless blender pencils. I use these myself, not this brand, but I use the um, Prismacolor brand for Prismacolors. So Prismacolor or Faber-Castle, honestly, they're both high-end companies. They're pretty good. Oh, over here you see the sharpeners. This is actually something a lot of you guys have been requesting to find out. For $13.99, you get this electric uh, eraser. That's the exact eraser that I use in all my videos. So for those of you guys wondering, that's exactly what I use. This is a topic on Prismacolors or Faber-Castle. I'm not going to tell you that one is better than the other because they're both good quality brands. So if you're going to buy one of them, you're going to get pretty good brands to start off with. Now, I would recommend Prismacolors only because that's what I've used. If you want to go based on something that I use personally, I'm always going to recommend Prismacolors because I believe they're, they are pretty good and I like them. You also got to take advantage of these sales at Hobby Lobby. So over here you see there's packs of $2.99 all the way to $12.99. They come in two. Now, the 16 by 20 is $7.99, so I would recommend buying those only because they're a good size ca uh, canvas and you get two. So, in case you do end up messing up one, you do have another one just as a backup, and that's a pretty good deal. Over here, we're looking at the spirals, notebooks, sketchbooks, all that. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what I would use when I was starting off. I would look for sketchbooks. I wish somebody would have told me this before, but sketchbooks are honestly probably the best. Tone tan papers are good for Prismacolor. So if you're looking for something um, to use that's not just white, over here you see the bristle paper uh, pad that I always recommend. So this includes um, colored pencils, sketching, charcoal, anything. For $12.99, you'll get the, this recycled uh, pad, which has a lot of sheets in them. This The paper quality is really good. It's really smooth. It works well with blending. They're thicker than sketchbook paper. So if you're only used to drawing with like really thin paper, then it's kind of hard to adjust. It's actually a lot better. Sketchbook paper right here, this is something that I would recommend too. For $13.99, you get this, and it has a lot of sheets. I would recommend this in particular, which has like the lightning bolts on it on the front cover. The drawing pads over here, I don't really mess with them because I think they're too thin, and it just doesn't have that nice, soft texture that I'm looking for when I'm looking for um, smooth transitions in my drawings or colored pencils. So that doesn't really work out for me. I don't know, it could work out for you, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Could you cut corners on these sketchbooks? Honestly, you could. If you're just starting off, you can get whatever type of brand you want because you just need something to draw on. And paper is paper, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But preference-wise, if you can afford to spend a little bit more, I would suggest buying higher-end quality paper. So over here, you have a work workable fixative. Now, what this does is protects your work from yellowing over time so that includes drawings and um, colored pencils and what that does like I said before it helps prevent yellowing over time smearing so if you work with charcoal uh, it prevents that so going back to this you see these pencils right here um, let's see now a lot of people ask me what do I use to hold my pencils and honestly I use an old eraser that I had laying around over here you see these pen kneaded erasers now with those kneaded erasers is like a gum and you can just stretch it you can adjust it and 
um, make it into like a fine point to erase. So that's a big kit. I mean, that's a good kit for erasers and stumps. The Prismacolor set, mm, that's pretty good. I mean, if you're looking for something like this, you can also um, buy this. Eventually, you'll buy this over time, so why not buy it now? If you're trying to shop for everything that you need, go ahead and get it. If you can afford it, if you can fit it into your budget, go ahead. These pouches, I don't really see a need for them. I don't think you'll need them unless you just have a big mess of pencils. You honestly won't need them if you're organized and you're barely starting off. You don't have that much to go off of, so you don't need them. Charcoal white. Um, I use this. But I think I stopped using that because it wasn't as bright as I would want them to be. So I actually end up using these gummy pins, which is, I think it's called jelly roll pins. Not really sure if that's what it is, but that's what I use for my sharp highlights. So if you ever look for um, that really sharp white highlight that covers all uh, pencil marks that's what you need you'll have to find some type of pen instead of using pencils because pencils usually have like this soft dim highlight and that's honestly um, okay but not always the case if you're looking for something realistic or high contrast this right here is what I was talking about jelly roll for $4.99 you get three pins honestly I still have my um, three pins and I haven't even ran through my first one that's how great they are and I think I bought them like three years ago, so that's a really good investment for me. I haven't run out, and I'm actually still using them to this day. So if you want to buy something that lasts for a good while, you would want to have these type of pens because they're going to last a long time. <clears throat> now, over here, like I said, you don't need these pouches. Um, oh, okay. So these this compressed charcoal powder. I would use this because I would always try to find charcoal powder but I couldn't find it so what I had to do is have an alternative which is charcoal sticks and I would get another piece of paper and I would rub the charcoal sticks on the piece of paper until they become powder and once they become powder I would dip my brush into um, the charcoal powder and I would that's how I would dry brush but now that I have well now that I've shown you what uh, the charcoal powder looks like and where you can find it and that it is available you can eliminate all that that I do, which is getting the charcoal sticks and rubbing it on a piece of paper. You can just get the charcoal powder itself and dip your brush onto um, this compressed jar. So that's something that I would invest in if you're going to do drawing. Or at least the way that I do it. That's something that I would recommend doing. And over here, there's more drawing kits that I actually missed. And they're actually on sale for 30% off. So as you can see, they're really high quality because I can see generals. And the one that I'm holding right now, I'm not sure if that is high quality, but it has a lot of stuff in it. This what I'm holding is the generals, how to, I guess, educational form of a kit. Now, this isn't that bad. I would recommend it because, honestly, you can't learn... Um, it doesn't hurt to learn more so this kit does have all that you need to get started but it's kind of expensive and I, honestly for me I didn't really care about buying educational stuff I'm, I'm always more concerned about having supplies because you can learn everything you need on the internet so would I recommend it no but if you want it I guess you can get it but you don't need it mm -hmm. you much you would much rather get something that uh, has more pencils than something educational. So like I said, take advantage of these cells. So this right here, I just saw it. It's a kit for um, $19.99. You have all of these things included in there. That's a lot of stuff. That has a, um, erasers, pencils, uh, sharpeners, near erasers. That's really good to use. It even has journal, sketchbooks, um, drawing pads. That's a lot of stuff in there. And it has a lot of pencils, charcoal and graphite. So honestly, if I was starting off again, I would most likely get that. That right there has a lot of stuff included in it. And if you're on a budget, you want to get as much supplies as you can. 
that right there is enough to start you off and just get another sketchbook pad or drawing pad. Now I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to see um, some of the sketchbook pads. This is a color pencil, so smaller version, and over here is the larger version. And for this, you'll get it at $14.99. Like I said, I haven't tried these before, but if it says it's for color pencils, it will most likely be higher quality and will work better for that type of product. Now over here we have um, watercolor canvases. It would actually be a lot cheaper if you get the pads instead of the canvases. So look for these papers instead of the canvases. For $10.99 you can get way more and if we're on a budget every dollar counts so we want to get as much as we can within our budget. This has 10 sheets and I really can't see a price for it, but stick with something that's based on what you're going for. So acrylics, you want to get acrylic paper. So I want to look for something a little bit more affordable, but honestly, this right here shows you exactly what you can get in your means. That's it for Hobby Lobby. As you can see, you can buy a lot of materials with just $50, and it's pretty good quality um, art supplies too. So if you guys want to see another video, let me know about what store I should check out next. Until next time.